Hello and welcome back to Yes, Your Grace. And when we left off, we had a wide variety of different things that were going wrong because I am slightly incompetent as a king and slightly as an understatement. Anyway, dear King of Davern, the western woods near Branca are not uninvolved in your troubles. An uncommon object can lead you to the sinner. Be quick. Yours sincerely. And then no name. All right. This letter has no seal. What do you think of this, Audrey? Whoever sent this letter must have gone to great lengths to pay a scribe to write it. This must be important. We'd better send a general to these woods to see what the matter is. I have marked this location on the map for you, Your Grace. Thank you very much, Audrey. You are a absolutely wonderful, wonderful addition to our throne room. And I just realized that he cannot hear me at the moment. Anyway, let's speak to our general. Your Grace, a nobleman visiting a local village had problems with folks stealing his goods from him. He asked me to find those responsible. The search wasn't hard and I brought them back for justice. The nobleman was very grateful and he paid me with this gold. Uh, whoa, that was a lot. Eleven? Wow, okay, we're rolling in it right now. I actually wonder how much gold I actually even need, to be fair. Alright, it's time to speak to the Dragon Slayer. Yes. I should probably not say it as epically, or, uh, you know, attempting to say it as epically as that, because let's say, uh, he's, he's obviously, well, he, he might be an imposter, we don't know. Your Grace, it is I. Noak, see the Dragon Slayer bowing low before you, also known as Grofos the Great, Wanos the Wise, Peter the Powerful. The royal wedding was fantastic. Well, until, you know, the food was first class, but amongst all of the pleasures, I didn't have a chance to introduce myself. <laughs> Did you come up with these names yourself? You're the famous dragon slayer? Oh yes, I'm quite accustomed to my fame preceding my arrivals. It is my pleasure to meet you. Is it? Would you like to hear about my fierce battle with the foul worm, your grace? Uh, with pleasure, I guess. We, we're just going to lure him in a little bit. I'm all ears. The beast was fast. Its sharp claws could tear human skin with absurd ease. I stole into its home forest with great care and planned a path to its defeat. The dragon's nest was at the very top of a mighty oak tree, overlooking a rushing river. Clever as I am, I noticed that the nest was full of hatchlings, mucky little dragon puppies. I chopped down the tree while the big one wasn't there. The great oak creaked, groaned, and fell straight into the furious river underneath, taking the dragon's young with it. The squeak of the little dragons carried far, and so the big beast herself appeared. Desperately trying to save her babies from the brutal current, she kept crashing into one boulder after the other. At last, she dragged her battered body onto the shore, but the weakened creature was no match for my mighty arm, and the beast was no more. After all, wit and brains come before strength and fists. Remember that, kids? I mean, your grace. Aha, uh -huh, yes. We know that that is obviously a variation of the story that we were told beforehand that he was going to say, and Sir Friedrich is obviously not very pleased with this guy. Impressive, isn't it? After that, and other adventures, of course, I traveled to Davern, seeking further challenges. So I have come straight to the king. Now tell me, Your Grace, what evil creatures await me here, staining your beautiful land? There is a monster. <laughs> yes, we're going to do it. Peasants mentioned the occasional basilisk or some other monster. All of those, all of these nightmares, shall we say, are nothing to our real problem, Rodovia. Rodovia? Well, I never heard of such a creature. So what is it? What does it do? Emit gas? Crush men's bones under its heavy hooves? Breathe fire? Uh, everything at once. Rodovia has an army. They are fierce and brutal and they are coming after my daughter. An, an, an army? Well, that is a hell of a challenge. I can help, though. They call me Grofos the Great for a reason. Over the years of my adventurous career, I have met a lot of people. Even more owe me their lives. I will give you all I can. Soldiers, supplies, I will stand at your side in battle. I reckon I can gather 180 men. And five supplies will also come in handy, I'm sure. And in return, I ask for... Oh, absolutely nothing at all. I'm a noble, upstanding knight. I live to serve, help, and, well, be famous. Noxy aiding the king of Davern in a real battle. They will write fine songs about this. Alright. So I'm going to say that there's a monster. And he is actually giving us his uh, 
his combat strength. I'm going to ask him about the large tooth, I, I assume, because he has fought monsters. It might make sense that he knows about the large tooth. It looks like an animal tooth. Would you know anything about it? That is an impressive tooth. It must have been one hell of a beast. Do you know where such a tooth could come from? Oh, I wish I could tell your heroic tale about defeating such an imposing beast, your grace. Sadly, I can't, because this tooth is not one from my collection. I don't think so, anyway. I wish it was, though. Can I buy it off you? Absolutely not, Noxy. I need this tooth to prove my innocence to King Ivo. Maybe after the royal trial. All right. Uh, I'm going to ask him about the letter, but I doubt he actually knows anything about this. This letter is on very finely decorated parchment. Do you know where it could have come from? I wouldn't know. I don't receive many letters, Your Grace. I'm always traveling, so letters never reach me. All right, so we're going to say that there's a monster. We have a problem with a monster. Aha, so you do have your own monster, Your Grace. Uh, yes, I, Lichage is the name. I'm going to say that that's how you say it, but I don't know. Anyway... Hmm, it's a small creature. Imagine a pig, but hairy, with long claws and horns. They can be dangerous, but for me it will be a piece of cake. You can expect my return shortly. Uh-huh. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm actually kind of intrigued to see what happens with this particular storyline. All right, so we have a peasant. Uh, we have a peasant, and we have a mercenary. All right, all right, all right. okay, come on then. Uh, okay, so we have a pigeon. Can I write a letter? Uh, no, no, I... Yeah, I, I found that quite amusing, because when I was going over the editing of one of the previous episodes, I, uh, I I just listened to that particular part before, where I was like, oh yeah, so uh, let's write a letter to Lorsulia. Finally found out how to do it, of course, thanks to those of you in the comments. And uh, then I was like, okay, so, dear Lorsulia, how's Dusty? Kind regards, your father. <laughs> That's basically what I said, you know? That's basically what I said, because I wanted to ask more, but, uh, you know, yeah, this is, it's not really going to work out too well. Anyway, okay, so we can now go to the Hidden Hut. We can send our general to the Hidden Hut. It will probably be a good idea to do that. So let's do that first, and then we will speak to the peasant. Your Grace, I wanted to see you about my missing potatoes. Someone must have stolen them, and I think I know who it was. But they say, only one request per visit. And it seems like I have a much bigger problem now. I come from afar, and by the time I arrived, I was very tired. I wanted to get some rest, and I sat on one of the fine chairs in the hall. I know I shouldn't have, but the gods have punished me already. I have sat down on some living pincushion it would... Oh, dear. He sat down on Stabber, didn't he? It squeaked, and I jumped up right away. When I stood up, my bottom was all covered in spikes. And not only that, but I feel very ill, weak even. I fear the chair creature has poisoned me. What can I do? The stabber. The stabber? Oh no, it sounds very serious. I'm not sure what we can do here. Yes, I'm not sure either. Oh, hello. Who's that? I think I might have something that will help. Name's Alina, your grace. I know about brewing potions. I can help with magical anomalies, diseases. I dabble in wound healing also. A witch. Or a witch? He would say. Aye, some may call me that, although I prefer to see myself just as a well-read woman. At your service. We could definitely use someone like this to help out our people, your grace. They would be a great addition to our roster of agents. Uh, okay, what's the catch? What do you hope to gain from this? Ah, of course, there's always something people want in return, right? I'm a simple woman. All I need is a roof over my head and something to eat. In return, I am willing to lend your kingdom my aid in any supernatural problems. I just want to help people. Well, thank you. Welcome to our castle in that case. It's my honor, your grace. I will also be able to help during the battle if you need me. Sadani won't be happy about the stabber. I'd better let her know. Wait a minute. Is, is the stabber dead? I hope not. Uh, I mean, if he sat on the thing, then uh, maybe... I mean, maybe it got away? I don't know. I hope it got away, really. I'll see if you have any useful books in the council chamber, Your Grace. Oh, okay. So we didn't want to uh, we didn't want to investigate her at all. We were just like, yes, please come into our most secret of, of areas. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. You will be able to see the expenses. I mean, you will be able to spe see the expenses for the witch in the weekly summary, Your Grace. We can just pay her wherever we need her. Whenever we need her, even. That's great. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so there she is. Wonderful. Okay, very, very pleased about that. So that is actually a, an NPC that we require to progress with the story. Okay, good to know. 
So let's speak to this peasant here. Your grace, Pendle, our village has been raided. They were men dressed in red and black with a beast's head pierced by a spear on their banners. That's a, that's a Rodovian army for certain, your grace. This means they are getting closer to us, or perhaps they're just teasing us. Teasing? People being killed, maimed, and enslaved is just teasing? Your grace, it didn't look like an entire battalion. It must have been just a small squad. Send us your men, we can fight back. You're clearly emotional, but we have to look at the bigger picture here. If we fight them off, they will certainly get angry and fight back with more force. We don't want to start the battle early. And tolerating their attacks may encourage them to carry out more. Your grace, you have to do something about this. We can't just let them trample our lands. All right. Uh, I will provide you supplies, but I'm not going to... I mean, I obviously can't send my general. I actually wanted to give them gold, because I actually have quite a bit of gold. But I'm going to give them supplies. If I send supplies your way, at least the rest of you who have survived can move out of the village. Come close to the castle. These are difficult times you need to stay out of sight. Don't go outside after dark and have someone patrolling the area at all times. Is that all, Your Grace? We've just told to let them do whatever they want and run away from them? Well, yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, they might actually be more aggressive in the future. And, uh, I mean, they're, they're obviously already going to be more aggressive. They're wanting to actually attack us and po possibly ransack the castle, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, yeah, so they can just relocate. That's absolutely fine. I didn't actually mind not actually getting any uh, happiness either. I personally just wanted to uh, not lose any. That's basically what I wanted to do there. Anyway, Your Grace, we hear of the upcoming battle. That's a perfect time for us to gain some coin and an opportunity for you to get some help. We're mercenaries, 22 skilled men at your disposal for only 16 gold. Uh, that's a lot. For 22? Mm, no, not this time. I'm sorry. I'm not interested in your offer. Fine, we'll be back in two weeks. Maybe we'll change your mind by then, or get our gold ready. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. It's nice that I can change my mind if I so desire, because he's going to come back at some point. All right. So we can go to the council chamber. I assume we can speak to the witch, maybe. And we can also speak to Sidani. I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, she didn't keep the stabber, quote-unquote, with her. Uh, I thought that would be the case. Your Grace... I bring news about your hedgehog. Sadani, your hedgehog passed away. The stabber? Oh no, this is all my fault. I shouldn't have sent him on the mission. I knew he wasn't ready. Tell me, did he complete his mission at least? His final quest? Well, uh, mission? What mission? Sadani, did you send a hedgehog on a mission? Yes, an undercover mission. He was meant to scout the area, retrieve information, and return to me. This way, if he helped me, I would owe him a promise like in the story, father. Uh -huh. uh, you can't set he you can't set hedgehogs on missions. They can hardly follow any instructions. That's why they're good. No one suspects a hedgehog. How else was he supposed to help me? Okay, please don't do this again. Yeah, the last one stabbed a peasant, and I had to deal with it. But I was so close to turning him into a prince. Now Losuli will never come back. Well, I suppose you're right. Forgive me, Your Grace. Nothing is as elegant, as fearless as a cat, as dusty. Next time, I will find a fiercer agent. I will train him. He will be at my command. The stabber's efforts will not be in vain. Oh, Sadani, my pumpkin. Right. Can I take the rooster back? Because apparently uh, the whole the whole prophecy thing is not really working out. Can I please take the can I can I please take the rooster back? No. Okay. Apparently, I can't take the rooster back. <laughs> okay. So let's speak to Alina at least. Your Grace, how can I help? Okay, nothing. Nothing at all. Great. Very nice indeed. <sighs> okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Can I do anything with this? No, I can't do anything with that. All right. Well, uh, okay, so the Hidden Heart, we are... Uh, haven't we already done that? Oh, we can select... Oh, so we can actually select whether the Witch goes over there. Hmm. Haven't we already sent the General to go over there, to be honest? I thought we actually did that. Okay, let's send let's send the witch to yeah 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 exactly that's already been explored so I'm not entirely sure why it's still on the map there but all right okay so let's go and see what we can do about allies sometimes lords are busy and you won't be able to invite them to your throne room this will be shown with a red arrow next to the lord's profile so King Ivo is obviously very busy being him so that's obviously not very good okay so what else do we want to do here well we could invite Lurz back and we could see what he has to say. 
about something, but personally I don't think we really need to do that just yet. Maybe we want to take advantage of his six supplies at some point in the future. And hopefully Noxie will return relatively soon. Okay, so I'm going to invite... We should probably invite Lena, shouldn't we? We should invite Lena and we should say that the wedding is off. That's what we should do. Hmm. Do I, do I want to do that right now? The thing is, is that I want to maybe get one of these people to... I mean, not Ada, obviously, because we're already allied with her, technically. But we could get uh, Via or Masha or Grego. Uh, I don't think we can get anyone else. I mean, we could get Etten, but as you can see, he's aggressive towards us right now. So we'd have to do something to Lurz to get him on our side, I assume. So I guess we'll just get Grego. I mean, I don't really know, to be honest. I mean, I'd like to see what all of them have to say eventually. So I guess we'll just invite him. And uh, otherwise, I suppose I'm ready to go. Am I ready to go? Is there anyone else that I need to speak to? Maybe I can speak to Pietro, see how he's doing. Are you feeling any better? No, 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 he's doing absolutely fine. All right. And we still got mushrooms. Uh, yeah, okay, well, whatever the case, let us continue onward. The witch... Uh, we could send the witch over here. Let's let's send the witch to go and explore that. I I really I don't know really what she's for otherwise. I, I think we'll just we'll just leave it like that and we'll go to the next week and we'll see what happens. All right, so we're gaining massive amounts of money right now. Look at that, we're gaining a good amount of money. But bear in mind that she is costing us eleven gold. Uh, okay, so you can actually prepare her as well so that she you know you can use her during the battle. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's good to know. Uh, yes, my army upkeep is absolutely insane. Uh, I might actually not pay them this week so that we can get some more supplies. It might make sense. And we might want to also spend 25 gold to unlock seven additional locations to explore on the map. That might actually be pretty good as well. So let's just try that out and see how it goes. Grevno, week 18. All right, so we have our general, Alina, Grego, and a peasant. Two peasants, actually. All right, good to know. So let's see what Stan has to say. Your Grace, the wooden hut in the forest appeared to be some sort of kitchen for preparing spices. It was abandoned. We searched the place and found this fire all hidden under the floor in. Did you find anything else? No, Your Grace, the place was empty apart from lots of dried rosemary. Oh, uh, okay, well, thank you. Aha! I think that might be the other item we require for our uh, for our trial, perhaps. I'm actually going to see. Investigation. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe there's something. Uh, yes, okay. Has received a strange unsigned letter. Our agent, he found a hut in which spices were prepared. It was abandoned, but he found a strange file. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so what does Alina have to say? I ran into a small bandit camp. They were keeping a merchant captive. I have helped him out, and in return he gave me his gold. Wow, that's actually a lot. Look at that. Pays for her wages for this week. That's actually very nice. That's good. And Grego is now here as well. You have sent a pigeon for me? I have. Welcome to our castle. I presume you have heard about our upcoming battle with Rodovia. I have, of course. Otherwise I wouldn't be here. I want to help. So here is my deal. I pride myself in my knowledge of art. My collection of paintings is the biggest in the kingdom. I own paintings by the most prestigious artists. Sil Silveg van Ge, Monoske, and, and Pisak. <laughs> you get the idea. Mm. I've heard recently that you hold a very valuable painting. It would be perfect for my collection. The Stork. Mm-hmm. I, um... Don't say anything yet. You haven't heard the rest of my deal. I can offer you 80 well-trained men and three supplies. Wow, that painting must mean a lot to you. Of course it does. It needs to vanish from this castle. I mean, it'll look better in my gallery alongside the others. I imagine the painting is hanging somewhere, so I'll give you time to take it down. That is, of course, if you agree to my deal. I would like to pick it up personally. So invite me whenever you are ready. All right. Uh, uh, I made three supplies. Sure. I mean, what, what, what does the painting really do for us? I mean, it is technically our banner on our shield and so on and so forth, and, and our wife 
might actually really like it. So it might be a really bad idea to take it down. I'm gonna, I'll, just, I'll say I'll take it down right away. I'll get the painting ready as soon as I'm done with my duties. Fabulous, I cannot wait. I'll be waiting for the pigeon. All right, so I'm going to ask him about all these things, even though I... He might know something about the letter, actually. Take a look at the drawings on this letter, Grego. Could you tell me anything about them? These plants look like rowan trees. These trees grant protection from evil witches and their curses. Many kingdoms use these trees to build children's cradles. So a lord who wants protection against witches and curses probably wrote this letter. Ah. Is it, is it not Lena? I mean, Lena is uh, potentially going to be cursed, or shall we say her son is potentially going to be cursed. So it might make sense for her to use this kind of inscription. And it, it does say that she has, uh, she has experience with decorating letters in that same fashion. But doesn't that... I feel like... Uh, I did, I, didn't I read a comment, actually? I think I read a comment somewhere that said it's, it's, it's quite... Uh, it's quite obvious, you know, it's a little bit too obvious perhaps that uh, she is the culprit, you know, it's so maybe a little bit too obvious. I don't know. We'll see. I have found this near Branca. Can you tell me anything about it? It's a used glass file. I'm not sure what more I could tell you, Your Grace. All right. We'll probably have to ask someone else. I have found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? Do you have beasts in your dungeon, Eric? You had better find a hunter to deal with this. Alright, so apparently the Dragon Slayer was not the hunter that I was looking for, by the way, it seems. Okay, hello, peasant. Your Grace, we we don't know how this happened. The creature, the, the witch from the forest, she escaped, Your Grace. Someone opened her doors. Idiot. Some fool was brave enough to seek the eternal wisdom. We all knew the eternal wisdom is just a hoax. We knew she's nothing but an old hag. But some young boy, he fell for the tale. And now, Babushka is out of the woods. Babushka? Your Grace, you don't know Babushka. Well, she's, well, uh, a witch, an old hag, older than anyone knows. She has been around forever. She's short and crooked. Her bony legs barely support layers of her old wrinkly skin. She has a long, hooked nose. Her nostril hairs are so long they hang down to her breasts. She wears a snakeskin coat and a scarf around her head with tiny bones attached carefully to each strand. As she walks, the bones clatter against one another. Clickety-clock. Clickety-clock. Okay. <laughs> she lives in the woods, although no one has seen her for many years. The legend has it that she used to lure children into the forest to eat them. But some legends also say she gives eternal wisdom to whom is brave enough to look her in the eyes. What can I do about this? I'm not sure, Your Grace. Why did you come here, then? <laughs> in the village, she transcribed these words on our doors. Turn your back to the forest, your front to me. She also leaves old chicken legs on our doorsteps. We're afraid she's going to come for our children. Every night someone hears the clicking. She might be preparing a spell of some kind. Okay. Right. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I, I don't even know. I, I, I really don't even know. I don't want to send my general for two weeks. So I'm just going to pay eight, 18 gold. This should be enough to pay someone overnight. Oh yeah, there we go. Give me that three happiness. No one is going to want to do this, Your Grace. Everyone is terrified. Look in other villages. I'm sure you can find some shtaka. Uh, okay, apparently. Anyway, so there is another peasant. Your Grace, more and more people gather to pray. We can't fit everyone in a barn no more. We wanted to build a new shrine, but we need some help inviting holy spirits to the place. We will be in the favor of the gods. The fields will be more fertile. The monsters will be kept at bay, and the evil spirits will avoid our village. If you can, aid us with the court witch and some gold to pay for the materials. Uh... Yeah, sure. I'll send the witch. I don't think I need the witch for two weeks, do I? Maybe? Mmm. Don't think I need the witch. Maybe. Maybe I do? Oh, I should have asked her about the file, perhaps. That might have made sense. Ah, I'm slightly idiotic. Oh, well. Never mind. Never mind. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully that will work out quite nicely. And we gain another three happiness. Oh, that's actually quite nice. But, uh, yes. Okay. So, we have the file... And we should probably send for someone, shouldn't we? We should probably send for someone. So we have Grego. Uh, I'm thinking... Wait a minute. There's a there's an optional quest with Lurs here. I'm thinking that... Wait a minute. The file. And did they talk about dust or something when they, when they were talking about it? Uh-huh. I think I should invite Lurs back and ask him about this file, to be honest. So let's do that. 
because he he's obviously in the dust trade or spice or whatever. I mean, we could ask Etten, but he's aggressive towards us, and I don't think that's really going to work out too well. So I think I think that's all right. Okay, so the bedchamber. We need to speak to Aurelia about the painting. She might be annoyed at this. Uh, I can take it or leave it. It looks quite nice there. Okay, so let's speak to her and see what she says. I have a lead on the investigation. Oh, okay, so she's actually not even caring that much about the painting by the looks of things. I have found some clues that might lead us to the person behind Talus's death. The file. A letter arrived suggesting something suspicious happening near Branca. I've had a general explore the location and he found this file. The substance inside could be what poisoned Talus. Its ingredients could lead us to the killer. Perhaps take this file to a court witch. Oh. Yes. That's a good idea. I think I've seen her in the council chamber. Okay, just ignore that, everyone. Just ignore that. No need to, uh, no need to, <laughs> no need to tell me. Ah, <laughs> uh, why? Take it. I'm going to take the painting. Ah, uh, it, it, I, yes, that is just absolutely terrible of me, isn't it? Absolutely terrible. Just ignore all of, all of what happened just there. Oh my. All right. Well, whatever the case, let's go onto the map and see what else we can do here. Wow, there's actually a lot of additional places that we can look at. Let's go over there, send our general. There we go. And uh, two weeks? Why is he Why is he going to take two weeks to do that? Oh, no. I was actually thinking that it would only take, a, uh, only take one week. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, next week it is then. All right, so we're still gaining a pretty decent amount. And... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Alina, we don't have to pay her this week, which is actually really nice. I think I'm not going to pay the army again either. We're going to lose 17 combat strength, but we are still then gaining 21 supplies. I'm going to try and just kind of save up a little bit because you never know when you might need it. And I could tell Stan not to uh, be employed, but I kind of feel like I need him. And we are still gaining a decent amount of gold every single week, so that's fine. Grevno, week 19. All right, so we got a peasant. Oh, there's the dragon slayer. Oh, okay, I want to see what the dragon slayer has to say. Torlando, who the hell is Torlando? I suppose we'll find out. Anyway, let's speak to our general. An old lady in the nearby forest needed help with wolves that keep stealing her chickens. I have quickly dealt with them, your grace. She gave me some supplies in return. How much? Whoa, 16. Oh, okay. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised. Very good, very nice. You have called for me, Your Grace. I have this file. My agent has found this at a spice preparation hut. Do you know anything about this? This file looks like the ones you can buy in Atana. Oh, ha ha ha. Okay, okay. It's Ivo, right? It's gotta be Ivo that killed his father. I mean, it looks like the ones he, he just said. He just said that it's the, it looks like the ones that come from Atana. Anyway. More often than not, they're simply used as ornaments, but I've seen these things with oracle dust inside them. It's ironic how many of those files you could find here since King Talus didn't support the dust trade. That's the reason. That is the reason why Ivo killed King Talus. Ivo was in league with the dust trade, and he wanted to take over so that he would benefit from the overall profits gained from the illegal dust. That's what it is, and that's exactly the reason why he killed his father to take over. I mean, obviously, apart from ruling over the entire kingdom. Before he passed, may the gods have him in their favor, he turned down Etten's alliance when he found out what he was up to. Aha! This is interesting. So are you saying Etten and Talos were not on the best terms? Indeed. Etten had it coming, though. He was fuming when Talos had his guards kick him out of the castle. Yeah, okay, okay. So... It's Etten and it's Ivo working together. We knew that that was the case. I mean, I said that a long time ago when we actually initially had the assassination attempt. Well, the assassination success, I guess you could call it. But whatever the case, I said immediately, that it's, the, it's that guy. It's, the, it's that guy. You know, I'm, I'm pointing at my screen again, but that doesn't actually help. Anyway, the point is, is that the guy that called for the cheers, you know, called for, called for the toast, that is the guy that had everything set up and that was Lord Etten so I think it's Lord Etten and I think it's Ivo uh, working together but I, I don't know that's the thing I, I have not seen any spoilers by the way I have not seen any spoilers no one's told me in the comments which I very much thank you for because you know it's nice to experience it firsthand 
Very nice indeed. Anyway, your grace, okay. Uh, what, what are you... Stefan, is that you? You look great. What happened? It's that guy. It's that guy. I gave him gold. Look at that. You gave me hope, your grace. I was in a very bad place before. I had given up on life. But after you gave me the gold, I realized I could make something of myself. I haven't entirely stopped drinking yet, but I drink a lot less. I found a new path in life. I've been helping the less fortunate in our town. People like me, all they need is another shot at life. It makes me feel like I have a purpose in this world. I just wanted to visit to say thank you, your grace. I owe my life to you. I didn't know if I was doing the right thing, giving you so much gold, but now I can see that I did. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh, that is such a nice result, because that's the thing. I was skeptical. Uh, you know, I, as you do, as you, as, as you would be, you know, skeptical giving that much money to a, a quite obviously drunk person. You know, you never know what is going to happen with that money. But in this case, it worked out very nicely. And I got to say, I'm very, very happy that I made that decision now. Anyway, I couldn't be happier for you, Stefan. I'm very glad to hear you are helping others too. You are a good man. You have inspired me to be a good person, your grace. I will never forget this. Here is a little something I have gathered by selling my fish on the market. I know it's not much, but I want to show how grateful I am for the help. There is no need for this. I'm going to say no, because I have enough supplies right now. You are very generous, but you should keep these supplies. Use them to help other people in need. I'm sure you can put these into good use. But, Your Grace, I insist. Of course, I will do my best to help others. Thank you so much, Your Grace. I hope we will meet again. Farewell, Stefan. Oh, look at that! Look at that! What a wonderful guy! That, that was really, really nice. That was a great outcome to that particular uh, interaction. That was actually really nice, in my opinion. Okay, so let's speak to the Dragon Slayer, <laughs> and let's see what he has to say for himself. Your Grace, there's no, no trace of Lishage in the forests. So I thought. As clever as I am, I knew where to look for their lairs in old tree trunks. <laughs> I actually thought to myself that he was going to be honest for a second there. And that's the reason why the developers were like, okay, let's put in a a little bit of a delay, you know, to be like, oh, but y y here he is telling the truth. Oh, no, never mind. Now he's not. Well, I guess not. Anyway, here, take this bloody horn as proof of my courageous deed. This guy reminds me of Dandelion, amusingly enough. Ah, here comes Sir Frederick. Ah, ha. You couldn't have defeated the beast, as there was no monster in the forest. You fell for our ruse. All your tales are lies, just like this one. What? Me, a liar? No way. I brought the proof, didn't I, Your Grace? It could as well be deer. Has anyone seen you? <laughs> it could as well be deer. This horn doesn't exactly strike me as coming from a monster. What else, Your Grace? Lishage is just like any other animal. It has horns, it bleeds. Surely you weren't expecting the horn to glow. The dragon tail isn't exactly original, is it? Sir Friedrich says you retell the story, just changing a few details each time. Very well. The cat is out of the bag. At least I don't have to put on the show anymore. Aha, so he is a con man. It can be very tiring at times, if I'm perfectly honest. People want to see this amazing knight, this dragon slayer, so I show them what they want to see. Lishage and the proof? A stag. Yes, at least my stories don't hurt anyone, and I don't have a drinking problem. If you have something to say, say it to my face. I hear what the, I hear what the wind is spreading. Problems with rum? Wife walking around with a black eye? You don't believe him, do you, your grace? He's a liar, he's making all this up. You used to be recognized around the courtyards, but the memory is fading. That's it. Draw your sword. Let's see if you're more than just a trickster. Oh, no. I'm going to do nothing and let them fight it out. In your current state, I didn't expect much more. You're lucky I don't feel quite like fighting right now. Oh, oh you know what? I should have said something, actually. I should have... Ah, okay, okay, yeah. I should have actually stopped them because I have a bad feeling now that the Dragon Slayer is going to kill Sir Friedrich and then I am not going to be able to have uh, Jovan helping us, because if Sir Friedrich is on our side, then so is Jovan, and then we would be in the monies, basically. But now it is not going to happen, because I think Sir Friedrich is either going to fall on his own sword, or the Dragon Slayer is going to kill him. Oh, never mind. He's actually st he's actually not fighting. Oh, okay. Your Grace, of course it's just a hoax, but it doesn't matter. The message is what's important. 
The story warms people's hearts. It gives hope for a better tomorrow. People always think they see basilisks, lesions, streakers, while it's usually a fox, a stray dog, or a cat even. If I bring them a boar skin or deer horn and tell them it was the monster, they sleep better at night. They can get back to work, feeling safe. And if I make extra gold on the side, so what? Aren't we all frauds? Kings, for example. People always come to see the king because he knows everything. They expect you to give wise advice. They will put the greatest trust in your words. But answer yourself. Do you always know what to do? Uh, <laughs> uh, not even scholars know the way. I guess you're right. Not even scholars always know what they're doing. Correct. There's only so much we can learn from manuscripts. The rest is just guessing. Your Grace, we surely can't let him spread more lies. I won't allow this. If you let Noxy join your banner, then I won't stand by your side. Oh, I won't join if he joins. With his intemperance, even, I won't stand next to him during battle. In all the turmoil, he could stab me and no one would even know. Jovan, a good guy. He trains with me. I will make sure to send my recommendation. Don't forget that. Uh, yeah, I'm, si I'm, I'm going to side with Friedrich because the Dragon Slayer, while his motives are, uh, suffice it to say, they are a little bit shady. I mean, he is making, I mean, obviously he has to live, you know, he has to make a living somehow, but obviously the way that he's making the living is uh, less than ideal, let's just say that. And uh, while Sir Friedrich is potentially a drunk and potentially, you know, other things, other less, less savory things, he is going to bring Jovan over to our side and he has very vital uh, supplies of gold for us. So I will side with Sir Friedrich for this, for this particular uh, choice. Sir Friedrich, you have one more battle ahead of you. I knew I could trust your judgment, Your Grace. Ha! It's time for those with real experience to take the lead, Noxy. A shame, Your Grace. Nonetheless, I wish you the very best in your battle. All right. Okay, so we lose 180, but we are now going to... Uh, yeah, will someone clean up this mess? Okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to ask for... Uh, not Lurs, Jovan to come back, because he's going to give us five gold, and Sir Friedrich is going to give us four gold, so we're going to gain nine gold, which is basically just going to pay entire, entirely for Stan, and then everything else is pure profit, which I think is actually really nice. And we do, tot in total, get more out of it, in my opinion. So, I think that's pretty good. Still have to get Grego to come over here, but uh, we're going to ask... Oh, he's busy. Can I invite him anyway? Oh, he's... Oh, you... Oh, you, oh, you scoundrel. Ah, uh, okay. Well, apparently we can't get him at the moment, which is actually unfortunate. Shall I ask Lena to come over and say, hey, uh, you know, wedding's off kind of thing? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Okay, let's ask... Uh, let's ask Masha to come over, I suppose. I was... Oh, we could have asked Grego, actually. Can I change it? No, I can't change it. Okay. Well, that's absolutely fine. I don't really mind about that. Okay, so let's ask the uh, peasant what he wants. Ah, your grace, I'm a sorcerer from the market. Your petitioners often visit me if you refuse to help them. I aid as many people as I can for very little in return. It's often not enough to cover all the ingredients I need for potions. As it stands, I'm out of most of my ingredients at the moment, and the queue to my place isn't any shorter than yours. Would you please be able to help out with some extra gold? Right, well, our court witch isn't, isn't actually here. And I don't really want to give 18 gold, but I kind of do as well because we're going to be gaining even more gold from Jovan in the future. So I'm going to give I'm going to give him that. There we go. We gained some happiness as well. Thank you for helping our people. That's very kind of you. Take this gold. It should be enough to stock up on ingredients. Thank you, Your Grace. I'll order everything immediately. Okay, great. Very nice indeed. And uh, now we have Torlando. Ahem, to you I come, a truly humble kind. I hope I find you well, in good shape and mind. Your, your grace, this is Torlando, a writer known across many halls and taverns. Excuse me, not just Torlando, I am, ahem, Torlando the Wonderful. Writer and poet recognized in all kingdoms, experiencing the artistic renaissance, the popularity of whom is discussed even in kingdoms of stagnant growth, including Yelez, Kalador, Baravia... And Radovia, of which I will m remain silent for the known reasons. Oh, yeah. Very well, what can I do for you? Your Grace, if I may, I'm working on my latest release, but I have no clue how to finish this piece. It's a story about royal intrigues, oaths of the past, foolish peasants and passionate lust, 
May I honor you with my latest work? <laughs> this is Dandelion, not the other guy. Yeah. Of course. I am open to art of all kinds. The poem is for now entitled Kupul Noka. Okay. Ahem. Okay. The moon shines so bright high up in the sky. Kupala night is upon us. Laughter and music can be heard outside, but the weary night may not rest. Inside the castle there's no frivolous joy. The fatal matter must be resolved. Or sh shall we say solved? The night is short this time of year, so let's make the best of it while we can. Fire, pleasure, and delight will rule this night. This is wonderful. I'm going to I'm going to applaud him. <laughs> uh, this is fantastic. Uh, is it? I'm not entirely sure. Although I am not surprised that you find this so delightful. The problem is I I cannot continue. Uh, I have hit a wall and I cannot write at all. I am desperate for some true inspiration. I strongly believe that seeing your general patrolling would get my creative juices rolling. Therefore, I beg of you, please, allow your general to join me to get out of this squeeze. I do like his rhyming. I do like his rhyming. So, by all means, go and take Stan. Maybe Stan will learn a little bit of poetry. We'll see. That is absolutely fantastic. Yes, yes, you will not be, you will not be disappointed, for I shall bring you a classic. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, uh, he's, he's very amusing. He's very amusing, so why not? Why not? Your Grace, part of our village was flooded. Luckily, no one got hurt, but our homes were devastated. We can use some gold to buy resources to rebuild our houses. Okay, yeah, sure. Here you go. Uh, have, tw have 12 gold. We have been affected by the floods too recently. Here's 12 gold. I believe that should be enough for you to acquire the required resources. That is magnificent of you, Your Grace. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. Good. So, we are now done with everything that we wanted to, wanted to do. So I now will go outside, see if there's anyone that I can speak to. No one there is at all, okay. And I've done everything else right, which we'll be returning in the next week as well, which is fantastic. All right, so we now have 26 gold once again. I will start paying my army now because 81 uh, supplies is, I think, pretty good. I'm actually wondering whether we should prepare the witch. Let's prepare the witch so that we can use her during the battle. And I'm going to prepare the general as well once we have Jovan on board and we are getting his gold as well. So let's continue onward and see what happens next. Grevno, week 20. All right. Ah, we've, we've, we've received a letter. Alina is here. Masha is here. Lady Ada is here. Peasant. And a cook as well. Oh, interesting, interesting. All right. That will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.